beyond fine. I mean, you know, you you have to accept that. Like, not everyone wants to progress in life. I'm sorry, what? Hold on, hold on. Let me get to my desk. So if an employee doesn't want to go above and beyond, that means they don't want to progress in their life? Like, I'm just making my lunch, watching some TikToks. And this came across my page. A manager saying, okay, how do you deal with someone who doesn't want to go to an 8 a.m. meeting, isn't willing to go above and beyond, and therefore doesn't want to progress and doesn't want to progress in life? There's two things about that. One is, why would you assume that someone who needs to go to an 8 a.m. meeting... Uh, hold, hold on, let me try this again. Is that saying that if you don't do out-of-hours meetings, you will not get promoted in your job? Is that what that's saying? Because that alone is already pretty weird as an assumption. But then also taking it further and saying that they it's not that they just don't want to progress at their job, they just don't want to progress in life if they're not willing to go above and beyond. If you are building a work culture where the only people who get promoted are the people that have the ability and are willing to work outside of their contracted hours, essentially working for free, not essentially working for free, literally working for free, then you are not building a good work culture. And this assumption that you're only progressing if you're willing to do unpaid labor, well, for one, I mean, I don't even understand the logic there because, you know, we often talk about how you can't progress in your career unless you value yourself, but this is literally saying that you're not allowed to progress unless you dis unvalue, like lower your value and do not take into account that you should be paid for your time. Like, I, I just do not understand this reasoning.